And joining us now to react is Republican Congressman Thomas Massey from Kentucky. He also is co-chair of the Second Amendment Caucus. Congressman, thank you for being here. We played a clip um, from some news that was broken on the show a couple of days ago. State Department was asked about it by, by an AP reporter, and he blatantly, blatantly lied now, I understand, from Ned Credo uh, about the fact about uh, whether this agency, or this bureau was created. How do we not hold these people accountable on Capitol Hill and the Pentagon? Huh. Well, they need to be held accountable. I just got off a phone call, a conference call that Secretary Blinken and Secretary Austin and General Milley had with Nancy Pelosi, Kevin McCarthy and the rest of us in Congress. And we asked a lot of questions. Um, the interesting thing that came out of that call was that uh, there seems to be a disparity between what the two secretaries are saying and what the president is reporting. For instance, we heard on that call that uh, Americans were beaten by the Taliban uh, in a, you know, in their travel to get to the airport or in an effort to evacuate. That seemed to be news that the president hadn't acknowledged yet. Uh, you know, they're also, what we found out is they're not yet, or at least they're not yet claiming, but they haven't yet gone outside the wire, it's the term they used, to go uh, help Americans get to the airport. They're telling them right now, get to the airport. Uh, but we've got NATO partners who are doing that. But they said on the call that they were looking at all options, that so, they so, were. So, Congressman, yeah. I, let's, let's clarify this. You just got off a call yes. where uh, who, was, who was suggesting that there were Americans that were beaten? Was that, uh, the, it, it was, was it Blinken and Milley telling Secre Congress Secretary that there Austin. are Americans that are being beaten? Why don't they yeah. tell the American people this? Um, <laughs> I don't know. This administration seems to have a hard time getting their story together. When we return to Congress next week, we'll get a classified briefing and maybe we'll hear more about that. But that that seemed to be um, something that should be out in the news. Uh, you know, and I don't understand why we aren't going out and trying to help people get to the airport. It's basically, you know, just make your way here and there's no protection for them on their way there. They I, are I, I, just, I just want to do this because this I, I, I find this very disconcerting that we've had the State Department, we've had the White House, we had the president today on camera, but no one ever mentions this, uh, this representative. Who said, Ameri who, who came forward with the information that Americans were being beaten on this call? Secretary Austin said that, and uh, I believe it was Kevin McCarthy when they opened the line up for questions who drove that home and pointed out that that was something that the president hadn't said. The, uh, it was a revelation to us, and it just happened. <laughs> literally, I had to get off of that call to, to join your show here. Um, you know, the other thing that hopefully they will do is, you know, they'll they'll start um, learning from the people who are coming on the base. That's another thing that they said, that when people make it to the airport, they learn about how they got to the airport and they're learning more about the situation and what it's like to try and get to the airport. But the question, you know, that I have going forward, by the way, Eric, you start out with a question which needs to be answered is who's going to be accountable uh, right now, in the in the mix of it, in the heat of it, I think they're just trying to solve the problem, and wisely so. But if we get back in the majority in, next year, there are going to be subpoenas. That, I mean, you would hope that the Democrats would do the yeah. same thing while they're in the majority. Uh, I used to serve on the Oversight Committee. I've moved to the Judiciary Committee, but I think... Uh, They've got to answer to all yeah. of Congress. Yeah, you know what? They're going to answer to Congress. They're going to answer to the American people in 2022. You guys are probably going to take Congress. But, man, this ticks me off beyond belief. The president makes a statement. Uh, he's got 25 minutes to talk on camera. Uh, State Department can come on camera. The Pentagon can come on camera over the last three or four days and, and not once mention Americans being beaten or tortured. And this would make the difference a game changer. Thank you, Thomas Massey, for coming on the show and breaking that news for us here. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on, Eric. All right, coming up.